Hey guys, so, like, where do I even start? Um, so it's been about a year, maybe two, since I started my YouTube channel. My very first tutorial uh, was terrible. It was literally like, I have time, I'm bored, threw up my camera on a paper towel holder and didn't know what I was doing, <laughs> but started filming. And then the feedback after that was like really different from what I thought. A lot of people liked it. <laughs> I didn't think they would. And then I started making other videos after that. I was traveling, I went to Florida and I interviewed a friend of mine and um, yeah, I liked it. But I don't think I knew how much work it was actually gonna take to keep it up. <laughs> and I was doing everything on my own besides music. I didn't think I knew how much work it was gonna be. Uh, so I slipped and I haven't done it in a while. A lot has changed since the last video you guys saw. I know you really, I don't know if you care. <laughs> um, but a lot has changed and you know, right now, in the state of Texas, we were in quarantine for about a month and a half, maybe two months. I don't even know at this point. And I just thought this was a good opportunity to kind of give me a fresh start and continue on what I really wanted to do. I don't think I'm a pro at makeup. I don't think I have all the, all the answers to everyone's questions. I'm still learning to grow every day. So the video today, is um it wasn't planned <laughs> i'm gonna be honest it wasn't planned uh it was sunday after church and i had some free time and i was like i'm just gonna do my makeup and film it probably not even gonna turn into a youtube video because i don't even know how it's gonna look or how it's gonna come out but i hope you guys enjoy it i'm excited about it i probably don't look like it but i promise i am I'm excited about it. And I also have some other stuff that I'm working on that I'm excited about as well. I have some other stuff, hopefully, either by the end of this summer or the fall that will be coming out soon. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's kind of weird for me because I haven't done this in a long time. So crazy. Like, I knew I was going to start posting on my channel again, but I just didn't know it was going to be this soon. But hey, we out here, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, today's video is about a summery, glowy, um, brown, glittery, I mean, I don't even know what to name this. <laughs> Just a little get ready with me that I did, so I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm gonna shut up talking now. Let's get on to the video. All right, jumping straight into the video, go ahead and grab your moisturizer, whatever moisturizer you use. I'm using the Freeman Feeling Beautiful Hydrating Gel Cream Mask. So um, I actually bought this on accident one time because I thought it was like a clay mask, but it's a gel mask. So uh, it doesn't, you know, get hard or it's not a peel off mask, but my skin really, really drinks this product and it makes my face feel so good. And this really does clear um, and smooth out my face. So my pores become basically invisible. And being the smart person I am, I got too close to my eye. <laughs> so my eyes started watering. Um, then I'm jumping straight into my eyebrows. I don't get my eyebrows done because I don't trust other people with my eyebrows. So I kind of clean them up myself. So that's what I'm doing just a little bit. It's been a while since I've done makeup. So I just wanted to uh, clean up my eyebrows on top, on the sides, and just make sure everything goes good for the makeup. drink your water people then what I'm gonna do is uh, just go straight into my eyebrows I want to let that product that primer that I just put on my face really sit and soak in my face so before adding everything on top of it I just wanted to give it some time to soak in my face so I jump straight into the eyebrows the eyebrows I am a firm believer that you do not need super expensive product to have really good eyebrows when I started eyebrows um, I just started with a brown shadow and I've had 
thick brows and and eyebrow pencils and all these other things but really nothing truly i nothing truly works and gives me the look that i want like a powder so if you have a eyeshadow palette maybe you don't want to invest into an expensive eyebrow product i would definitely recommend just a brown shadow a brown shadow i specifically go for something that matches my hair that's going to make it a little more natural and um what i'm doing now is i'm going in with concealer and really just cleaning those eyebrows up i believe that to have good eyebrows a lot of it is really just into cleaning up cleaning up really good with concealer and then blending i think those are two really big important keys to good eyebrows next i'm going to jump straight into my foundation um, i do my face my hands are lighter than like my actual neck so um that's why my foundation oh i'm trying to fix the lighting <laughs> Um, but that's why my foundation, I try to go with something that'll match my neck, not necessarily my face and my hands because my face and my hands are a little bit wider than the rest of my upper body. So then after that, we're jumping straight into concealer. So I'm putting concealer under my eyes with the Makeup Revolution Concealer in C6. And I really like this concealer a lot. Just to give me a little more extra brightness, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little, a different concealer uh, under my eye and other places where I feel like I just need a little more brightening. And again, I'm using a damp Real Technique sponge to blend out my foundation. I like using it in a damp sponge. A damp sponge with warm water because I think using warm water and kind of having the sponge hot helps the product blend a little bit better Then I'm going to go in with the Banana Light Powder from Makeup Revolution. And I'm only going to use this powder in places where I want that concealer to stay highlighted and to stay bright. So I'm not going to use this all over the face, but I'm going to use this specifically where my concealer just was. Because this powder kind of helps, again, keep those areas that I just highlighted, they, that this powder helps to keep it a little more highlighted. So um, I do my forehead, under my eyes, my nose, my chin, and on top of my lip. Again, just the same places where I put the concealer before. I actually wasn't going to bake, but I ended up baking anyways. Then I'm going to jump into the Juvia's Place Palace palette, and this is where it gets kind of confusing. So um, I wanted to use the yellow, brown, and orange shade in this palette, but it really wasn't coming out the way I wanted. So I dipped into another palette, and all I'm doing here is really just placing the product down and then um smoothing it out hey 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 sorry y'all my sister was me and my sister were getting ready so again i jumped into the um naked palette by urban decay and um i switched to that one just because the shadows were a little bit buttery and more creamier to work with so again i'm just placing the orange shadow down and then kind of rubbing it packing it and then uh, smoking it out, packing it, smoking it out. Then I go on with the darker shade in that little palette. And I'm just placing this one down, kind of, again, smudging it. I guess that's a word you would say, uh, where I want it. And then I'm going back in with that orange and kind of blending it out. Literally, this eye look took probably about three shadows to do. It's nothing hard. Really, I just kept going back and forth between packing product onto my eyelid and then smoking it out with that orange. 
in that brown shade. Again, on the other eye, getting that dark shade and packing it. I, I switched from a brush to my pinky because it just worked a little bit better for me. Uh, so I'm packing that color on and then I'm going to go back in with that orange brown and just blend it out. Nothing super hard. I think I used probably as well, probably like three brushes for this whole eye look. It's just a lot of blending. Then I go in with the lightest uh, brown shade in the palette and I really just use this to make sure everything blended. I don't want any harsh lines. Again, going back in with the dark shadow and then just buffing it out. Then I'm going to go ahead and dust off the baking powder that I had under my eyes. I kind of do a motion where I like tap it in and then all the extra stuff I kind of sweep away. Then the same routine, the same three, four colors that I used on top, I'm literally going to do the exact same thing at the bottom. So starting with the lighter brown all the way up to that darkest um, shade, what I want to do is I just want to make sure that I'm connecting the bottom color to the top. So that's why you kind of see me blend in right here in the corner of my eye, just because I want to make sure those colors connect and uh, the smoky effect connects to the bottom so it doesn't look kind of choppy. So literally all I'm doing is just going in with those same colors, starting with the lightest brown all the way to the darkest color. Then I'm going to go in, I'm not really contouring, but I did want to bronze a little bit just because this was a, um, a more orange brown look. I really did want to do a good bronzing. Then I wanted to contour my nose. I did this, made this choice last minute on the fly. So what I'm doing is I'm getting another, uh, that contour shade. And what I'm doing is I'm starting it at the, uh, at my eye, at the top of my uh, nose, and then I'm dragging that color down. I did that because I didn't want to just make it look like I had two lines on the side of my nose. I really wanted to make sure it connected with the top and that I brought it down as much as I could just to make it a little more natural. Then I'm going in with the banana powder like I used earlier and really just baking the sides of my nose to make sure that I keep that illusion of a nose job all day. And like I said, sorry for my sister in the back, we were getting ready this day and I decided to do this last minute on the fly. <laughs> then I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills blush palette. I'm grabbing the orange and the red shadows. And I'm kind of keeping that on the apples of my cheeks. Bringing it back a little bit towards my hairline. But again, really keeping it on the apples of my cheeks. And then my mom into the room. <laughs> So then I'm going in and kind of dusting off the nose baking powder. Again, trying to be very mindful where I dust it because I do want to keep the shape of the contour nose that I just made. Then I'm going in with that blush and putting a little bit on the bottom of my nose because I like the way it looked natural. Then I'm going to go in with the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm grabbing the two highlighting shades here and I'm putting them at the uh, brow bone at the tip of my nose, my arch of my nose, and then um, on my cheek. So I'm highlighting here, and I, the reason I'm using this little brush is because I really want to keep the product exactly where I lay it. I don't wanna dust this like all over the top of my face. I really wanna have control. So I, I went in with a small brush and it was perfect. Literally where I laid it is where it stayed. So I was super proud about that. 
not putting any more on the brush but kind of just dusting whatever I had left on my forehead Then I went in with mascara. Again, it really doesn't matter what you use, whatever works best for you. And then I went and did the bottom lashes. If you know me, you know that I really have never done my bottom lashes. I didn't like the way having, I didn't like the way I looked having my bottom mascara done. But I recently did it about, I think, the end of last year. And it really, really changed the whole game. I would definitely recommend it. And then I'm putting the highlighter again on my brow bone and in the middle, in my inner corners. Then on the fly, I saw this glitter palette that I had from my friend Angelina that she gave me that I totally forgot I had. So I grabbed the gold glitter from this palette and I really just kept it in the middle of my eyes. I just wanted to do a little something, something. So it was speaking to me, so I'll put it on there. Then I'm going in with my lashes. Uh, I can't even tell you what kind of lashes these are because these are actually two lashes that I wore one night for a wedding and they looked so good when I took them off. They actually didn't come off by themselves. They came off together. So they're two kind of two different kind of eyelashes that I stuck together that I don't remember what they are, but I'm going to hold on to these as long as I can because I really, really like the way they look. Then, of course, I wanted to be more extra, <laughs> and so uh, I put I found my silver Urban Decay glitter, and literally, I just put a little bit on my pinky and tapped a little bit of that on top of the glitter that I already laid down, just so it could be extra. I mean, you already know me. Then I went in with the Kat Von D Liquid Lip. I wasn't satisfied with how it looked because everything else was kind of glowy. I didn't like how my lips were matte. So I got the Kylie Cosmetics uh, lip gloss. This is the one that came in with the Astro World kit. And I just put a little bit of that in the middle. Then I go in with that same um, glitter liner that I used last time for my lids. And I just popped that in the middle because, again, I wanted it to be extra. And I felt like I needed a little more pop. In that inner corner so going in with a little more highlight since I was blending some things I'm just kind of touching up my highlight that I put on before on my cheeks my forehead my nose and my chin and this is the final look thank you guys for tuning in like I said this was super last minute but I definitely wanted to film something for you guys and this is not the end more videos coming soon make sure you comment like, share, and subscribe because more videos are coming soon from your girl. See you in the next video.